time for round two here to entertain you folks. And we've got Cam versus Kelvin. Both of these guys are practicing uh, for the system open in November. We've got some pretty deep bids here. and uh, Deep bids. We've, uh, oh, we've got uh, everything lined up correctly now. And away we go. Wow, a two-ship list. Yeah, Fen Rao and Boba Fett. Wow. So Cam said that his list is built around arc dodging proton torpedoes. Oh, that's a good plan. Uh, Kelvin did not bring any proton torpedoes, but Fen Rao throws, throws a lot of dice. So. so Kelvin's list also has a very deep bid, as you were saying. And so we'll see how much he was dependent upon that since he's lost the bid against this monster two list. What the well, heck is on Boba? Kelvin, when he went to uh, the course on Invitational, he had a, a, a deeper bid than this. Yep. 11 or 12 point bid, and he's down to 10. Yep. Uh, I think to put, uh, he's dropped upgrades off of Guri and, and put uh, advanced sensors on. Yeah. I'm like, don't, I forget what he dropped off Guri, but advanced sensors won him his last game. Yep. Yeah. Against. Uh, oh, today, yes. Yes, uh, against James Lane. Here we go. Now, Cam's Fen Rao moving last, which he's bid deeply in order to do. Yes. Is that Something really that I imagine will change in January? Point, it's an 18-point bid. That's an 18-point bid. Wow. Yep. And we have a shot from Kelvin's Fen for one, and Boba laughs it off. But uh, round one violence there, uh, Aaron. Not quite what I expected. I think we both expected them to play a little more cagey, and uh, they're just jumping right into it. Well, Cam tends to throw a fair amount of aggro. Yep. He uh, tends to come straight at you. As the dazzle paint on his ships demonstrate. Did uh, Fen gonna... take any damage there? Oh, no, I don't think so. Nope, no cards came up. No cards, no nothing. So if you had to bet, mm -hmm. who would you bet on here? Boba's uh, calculate tokens cannot be stolen by Palob. No. That's a thing. He's IGD is a fantastic crew. If he Value. Can, yeah. And if you can keep... Um, I guess the Lone Wolf is for when he's not in range one. Oh, it's only a Fen, correct? Hmm? Uh, lone Wolf is only uh, friendly ships. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, Boba gets plenty of rerolls at range one anyway. Right, of course, yes. Uh, when you are fleeing or running with Boba, the uh, the Marauder title helps, and the uh, Lone Wolf, I suppose, helps once per round. It's no longer infinite, yes. which is nice. Once per round. Still a pretty good upgrade. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, its problem is what it was. Classically, you've got to keep your other ships away from you as you use it, which is tricky. And I think we've seen uh, Cam already use that at least once this game when he was attacking with Boba Fett. He did get a reroll, and that mm -hmm. was from his lone wolf attack. Right. And at range three, it really helps a ship like uh, Boba Fett. It's rolling three dice at long range. Situations like this where he's boosted, um, it's going to help keep him alive just a little bit longer. Uh, Paylob, Kelvin, lots, lots, one forwarding to victory, and you can see here... Lots uh, of caution. Lots of caution, and his uh, uh, arc is pointed downboard. His arc is pointed downboard. Yeah, here. We can see here, we can use our Madden lines, that this oh, is yes. the active arc for his rotational turret. Right. I'm interested to see what Fen did here. He just did the two straight, which Cam seems to have called. Now, well, I mean, that's a great location for him to be, as he's now completely out of... Boba Fett's arc, and he is just going to just going to target lock and and not get shot, which I think is uh, a great, great yep. maneuver there. Well, we'll see how good it is when uh, Boba shoots at those guys. Well, Paylob does have the Moldy Crow, mm -hmm. so it, he will be throwing three dice out the front at Boba Fett. He's not going to be taking no shots. It's um, actually pretty close. To Difficult to tell whether that's range one between Boba and Palop. I, th I think uh, Guri and Palop are both going to be throwing range two shots, but it's going to be, you know, a Fen sitting next to Boba there. While right. Boba won't get to shoot him, he will be giving Boba Fett rerolls. Oh. Oh, does he have a shot? I think that might be a judge call. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, there we go. 
And Aaron is uh, going off to tell us if that is in range or not. Very interesting. I mean, that would be um, a absolutely killer move from uh, from Kelvin there. The double calculates now being uh, at the beginning of the engagement phase are unable to be stolen by um, Paylob. And that is in arc. So here's a Fen attack with a target lock into, uh, ouch, into a lot of pain. That's two hits and three, two crits, three hits. Whoa. One evade there from uh, Boba Fett. And that is all the shields. Wow. That is all just... Uh, Boba Fett has a shield upgrade. So in fact, uh, he's... That was four damage? That was four damage. So he should still have a shield remaining. No, if we can bring Boba Fett up, I think he's only got three shields, right? Boba Fett normally has four. Ah. That was a pretty game-deciding judge call, was it not? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good thing Kelvin slipped me that fiver. Yeah, we need another uh, shield on, uh, on Boba Fett. No, he took four, but he has a shield upgrade. Here come the other two attacks. I told you this would happen next. Uh, I see damage on um, Fenrau, on Kelvin's Fenrau. Right? Yeah, you're right. Where'd that come from? Probably uh, Cam's Fenrau. Right. One of them was crit. There's three damage on him? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Boba is activating, takes the stress. For his uh, Han Solo? Mm-hmm. Oof. Range two, gets a reroll from Fen Rao, spends a calculate token, I imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. somebody rolls two after a token. Yeah, so that was Paylob. No, it's Paylob. That was Guri. Okay. And Guri took one. And Gurry shoots back for wowzers. Now, Kelvin was complaining about uh, James's dice in this last game, but... Uh, Two crits. Oh, no. One shield and one crit into Boba. Yeah. Let's see what Cam deals out. What a round. You were talking about Cam's aggressiveness. He just got Boba in there, but... Uh, Kelvin showed him how to roll dice. Well, and, you know, Boba took three shots, and, and I think he's, Did he's they miss, paid for it. Did they miss Palop's shot? Um, no, they're both, uh, maybe. I don't know what happened there. Well, they might have shot out of, uh, sequence. Out of yeah. sequence. So, yeah. Loose stabilizer on Fen Rao. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Is he stressed? Is Kelvin's Fen stressed? There was a stress, but I know he just took a target lock. Right. I mean, so, two forward target lock. I mean, he can five straight out of there. I imagine he will. Yeah. Uh, Cam's Fen is so positioned that it would be difficult for him to follow if uh, if that was his he could maneuver. Do a, he could do a two bank. Yeah. And then boost. Yeah. That's but I'm wondering if that's if, yeah if that's going to be a little more in in this direction. Oh, so messy, Devin. So messy. There we go. But also remember that Guri can advance sensors. Yes. Right. So she might be in a very interesting position coming next turn. I need to remember. What was Boba's crit? Yeah. Oh, do we know Boba's crit, Victor? Do we know Do we know Boba Fett's uh, crit? No. Uh, it was flipped face down. So okay. It resolved. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Did not expect uh, round one and two to be such a such a bloodbath. Yeah, this will be a quick one, whichever way it goes. Yeah. I mean, if you're Boba here, I think you just do the one bank to the left. Well, he's got to clear that stress because yes. he needs to start calculating again. And I'm concerned now that Lone Wolf is going to be... I believe it was turned off this round, and then it will be turned off next round. Uh, he probably also drops his prox mine at this point. Mm. Oh, he's got contraband. Yeah. So he, in fact, can do a totally different maneuver and still take an action. But be very, very stressed if he does. 
No, because contraband no longer entails taking a stress. Oh, right, of course. So, I uh, I assumed you you were advocating like a talon roll or no. um, some I mean, other. You can do a four straight. That's a fun maneuver. maneuver here. Interesting huh. maneuver here from Palov. Did not expect him to sort of bail in that direction. It's going to give him the butt arc. Ah, uh, so he's rotating his arc. That's his. I that's his action. So. So he has two focuses from before and has done a red rotate. Oh, he target locked. Yeah. How did the uh, arc change then? Uh, you can link a rotate and a target lock. Great. With the hawks, because they're also. Awesome. Yeah. I thought the rotate was red on the hawk. I'm just wrong. Oh, you're just wrong. Yeah. Great. Ooh, look, I'm just wrong. You're just wrong. Yeah. Jam that's a. That's a. Just red. I know. It's an a, action bar that makes an X Wing jealous. That's a great action bar. Makes a tie interceptor jealous. Yep. Poor, poor tie fighters. None of them are any good anymore. All right. So who's up next? Certainly Boba Fett will have to go next. No. Oh, no. Yes. Kelvin as, yep. as initiative. So there's the advanced sensors from Guri, and she is doing a hard one. Interesting. He's going in for the kill on Boba yep. Fett. It looks She's like. trying to kill Boba. Yeah. Solid plan. He's worth 112 points, mm -hmm. leaving Fen Rao to hold up uh, 88, I believe, is how MOV works. Where did... Uh, oh, there you go. Fen Rao get the... Contraband cybernetics. Oh, he did the K-turn. Into the K-turn. So he's double stressed, and yeah. this is what Kelvin has anticipated. Let's see. Well, it yep. doesn't. It doesn't look like Guri has a shot. Well, we do know now that Fen is not that Cam Sven is not doing a two bank boost. No, to chase uh, Kelvin Sven. A hard one fits in. Wouldn't be too bad. Keeps him stressed. So, uh, this is a trap. What Kelvin is doing is also a trap for uh, Cam Sven. But Cam Sven looks like no, he's got a range one there. It's a sensible move from an ace, uh, you know, a two forward green. The two, mm -hmm. the twos are, are very common, and that's uh, he's just going to dump exactly pain into Palob, I suppose. Yeah. Palob does not have arc on him. No, nope. Palob. I think the only shot on Boba Fett this round is is from Palob, and he's going to be Palob's going to be eating damage from both of Cam's ships. I don't Cam's think Palob ships. even has arc. And Cam Sven is not so prodigious as Kelvin Sven was. Yeah, I think he just took no damage there, right? Uh, spent to focus. Yeah, thanks, Cam. And now, return Switch. fire. Guri into Fenrau. Yep, Fen is fine. Oh, I gotta go judge. We got a judge call. Aaron's off poking around. Let's see. This has got to be Boba Fett on someone. Boba Fett into Pelob, and let's see. And Lone Wolf is active. There we go. Three hits. Oh, he takes one damage. Wow. I wish my Paylob could live like that. That's great. All right, two hits here. This is probably Paylob into Boba Fett. Boba Fett taking one. Yeah. So, exciting match full of uh, big swings and big misses, and I don't know, away we go into round three. Unbelievable. Oh, that was round three, into round uh, four. You know, it's uh, the end of the early game, and, uh, you know, over half of everyone's lists are dead, or almost dead. It'll be interesting to see how these guys recover. So, do you think... Um Cam's aggression paid off the way he charged at Kelvin? Um, no, I don't think it paid off. I mean, it's uh, if you were playing against a, a player who was a little less experienced than Kelvin, because Kelvin sort of just like caught him and uh, used his aggression against him to, to offset his ships. So Whereas if he was, he was playing a, a lesser player, it might have... He might have been able to annihilate one of their ships and then have an immediate advantage with his alpha. So Cam's Fen is actually undamaged. Um, okay. 
Um, what happened last round? Did anybody take any damage? Uh, Palob took one. Okay. And we thought Fen took one, but you said Fen is undamaged? Fen is undamaged. Okay. It's a good position for Palob. Wonderful. Yeah. For, starts rebuilding those focuses that he spent. Yep, we've got a double stressed and fairly helpless Boba, although he can bank one here and be. So brave. is that an advanced sensors? No, that's not advanced sensors. He just Elvis didn't reveal just the dial. so aggressively. Well, you sort of have to against Cam. Boba Fett turning in. Away. Or, well, swinging is his rear arc. Um, we'll see clears if that one gets him stress. Arc on Guri. He can't uh, use Han. Can't use Lone Wolf with Fen in there. Yeah. Wow, it's bad news for Cam's Boba. I'm wondering about Cam's Fen if he does a hard one. He'll but uh, certainly we gotta see where Kelvin's gonna end up. A little boosty boost there. Yep. Coming around. The Proxmine drop actually kept uh, Kelvin's Fen safe. Maybe. Wow. Ooh, that's a hard. Choice. That's really bad. Yep. This is. I mean, he's not going to get shot by Paylob, but he's going to get a, uh, or by Gurry, but he's going to get a really nice, you know, shot there at range two, or maybe even range one. From 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 Paylob. Well, there's th still three hull left on Boba, and he's about to clear stress and be free. So if I was Kelvin, I'd just shoot everything into Boba. I mean, if it's necessary. Were you able to confirm the, the amount of damage on Fenrao? Yeah, yeah. So we have any rerolls for Boba here? We don't. He takes three, no. and I believe that's Boba dead. Kaboom! If our math is all right here. Uh, yeah, yep. that that's the international be signal for Boba dies. Yeah. And that's, then here's uh, the range one shot from Palop. Yeah. So Fen Cam Sven is undamaged, but. Let's see what happens. Uh, Kelvin decides not to spend Palob's focus, not seeing enough paint to mm. put damage through on Fen. I don't know. Because Fen's going to be rolling four dice in defense, so that's <clears throat> probably going to... But he wouldn't have Concord done, so I don't know. I might have just gone for the two there, hoped to get one through. But his Palob is certain, and it's time to return to his usual, more cautious style of play. Absolutely. I'd be interested to see if he uses, um, if Kelvin uses advanced sensors to his advantage this round. Um, put him in a fun situation to combat Cam Sven, who's now running around. I mean, uh, he can take his time now. I mean, Fen has to chase Palab back into those rocks. That's rough. I mean, what's, um, what's Cam's path to victory here? Uh, Guri's down a shield. Yeah. So if he can get a quick uh, crit into Guri, then he can claw his way back. As soon as the other Fen shows up, he can snipe him. So he's got to kill Kelvin's Fen and get half on one of his other ships. That brings him up to about the same points, right? Yep. Okay. All well, right. if I were Cam, I'd assume that I'd give up half in the process of doing all that. So, so you want to kill everything... Except one ship at half. Probably Palob. Yeah. So you've got to kill Guri and Fenrao. Yep. And I mean, he's got 56 minutes. He can do it. It's a question of where he goes and what happens. Sure. Um, I mean, if I'm Guri here, I just play slow and cautious. Maybe just a one turn to the right. Oh, yeah? Yep. Make nice maneuver here from Kelvin. Fun. Yep, he won't be able to two-turn back around, so he's just focusing, using that back arc. Oh, uh, I think Guri he's advanced, just a target lock. And then we're going to see a, a sloop or a K-turn here? I don't know. Looks like it. We're being attacked by insects here. There's a giant fly. There's a sloop. Is that a little buzz droid to mess with us? I'd be worried about that sloop where I Kelvin. I mean, Fen can one turn here. And, and one turn and do what? Boost. Boost. Barrel roll. Barrel roll won't do it. Wow. He's just coming Aggressive. in. Aggressive. Yep. Both players being choosing aggression. Well, I've, I've never seen Cam play another way, but uh, 
uh, Kelvin is often fairly cautious. It is the one turn. Yeah. The boost. And you think the boost gets him in arc? Nope. Kelvin seems to have called it. Wow. Because I don't think that boost tag gets him in arc at all. I agree. Like, he remains in, in Guri's arc. Should barrel roll away in focus? Or he's going to try no, to barrel No, he's going to barrel roll in for the range one. Will I get it for him? Yeah. I feel a judge call coming on here. Yeah, oh, my. That's very close. Now, the, uh, can you pop the rail up? Let's have a look at the linked actions on that boy. Yeah, barrel roll into a focus there. You want to preemptively go do the judge call? Uh, Tim's over there. All right. Tim's so gone. just one from Fen. And uh, that's evaded. Cam Fen doesn't care. Yeah, uh, that was Fen on Fen on Fen violence. Yes. And Fen must have arc on Guri. Yeah. That's so he goes for a hit crit. Guri shrugs it off, doesn't even spend her focus. Rolls natural evades. And then she target with locks. Target lock. Wow. And Fen spends his focus to take no damage. Because they have Concord done. Yep. Well, it's now called face off. Concordia face off. That was no damage. No damage nowhere. All whammies. Well, now we have Cam Sven stressed and pointed towards the board edge. That was something else. Indeed. He's got to disengage here. Kelvin was being salty about his dice earlier, like I was saying, and now they're... Uh, Apparently, then, that's the right strategy. Complain yeah. voice firstly about your dice in round one. Squeak a win. Then get magic dice. Sounds like a plan. It's about as much good as any other plan about dice. I'm not too worried about. I'm not worried about Cam's fan. He's got hard twos. He can get out of there. He can put the proximity mine between him and other people. I think it'll be all right. I mean, yeah, but he's got to come back. I mean, if he goes sailing around that prox mine, it's a long time for him to come back around. Well, he's got 50 minutes. Yeah, and he and, and Paylob's got to be up there. Paylob's not going to hard two in. Paylob's got to sort of like float with a bank up between those rocks. I mean, Palop can stall this round, but it won't leave Kelvin's fan with anywhere good to go. Sure. And what Kelvin really wants to avoid here is having Palop or somebody get isolated and have to fight. Cam's fan all by himself. Well, Fen's got no toys. He's only got Predator. And mm -hmm. Kelvin's Fen is just naked. So they're just relying on the raw durability and the, the power of their just the ship ability and what they can do with that title. But 1v3 is tough, even for oh, an ace. Yeah. Especially versus three other mobile aces. Yep. And he's had good defense dice so far, keeping those hits off him. And with the Brig Gambit, Paylob is going to be able to evade next round. He's just stuck into those rocks. I'm sure he's going to stay in there. He's got the Brig Gambit for the rest of the game. And he'll have two to three evade dice against Fen with, well, uh, with focus evade. Whatever happens here, this is just a disengage round for Cam's Fen. I suspect Guri will just, like, one straight or one bank into him. Won't stop the two-turn. Uh, the Star Viper now has two blue banks, right? I believe so. All right. So she could do one of those, grab a target lock on Fen, prevent him from turning right. And, I don't know, one straight with Palob. One straight, one bank? I mean, maybe that too. I right. guess. That would put him sort of right in uh, one bank and put him, you know, right next to... The real question, I guess, is what Kelvin does with his own Fen. Because he's pointing the wrong way, probably. Cam is probably, as you say, going to turn left, circle behind the Proxmine. 
Well, he can he can two bank blue, right? And he can one forward blue, and then he'll. And There's if no he one does, forward on the doll. Two, sorry, two forward blue. Yep. Right, and then he can barrel roll into a position should he need to. Yeah, my long term worry is that um, we're going to end up. Uh, Kelvin will end up with Palov alone, uh, and Cam Sven coming. Oh, no, target lock there. Mm-hmm. So pretty right. confident on Kelvin's part. Cam. Just moving things around. There's the two bank you you called from uh yep. from Gurry. I got I got the I got the one bank on Paylob, so we'll call it even. Right. Yeah, I think you lose points for saying that Fen should do a one straight. Uh I suppose. But there's the, the I meant the two straight, which he that did just three. do. That's a three. Was it a no three? points. No, no points. These is bank and locks. Like you said, this is a disengage round. They're all sort of like repositioning to come in. Ooh. Oh, and you... Kelvin got him. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter for this round that much. There are a couple consequences here. Palov is going to take a long time to get back in the fight, but it's two on one. I was going to say, if he'd, if he'd followed... If Kelvin had done the two bank on his Fen and boosted in... Yeah, Palov's out. No shots. I suppose the other possibility back then was for Kelvin just to crash uh, Paylob through the rock. But that's not something one likes to do. No, Paylob's better off where he is. <laughs> there is a fly in there. Yeah. What sort of fly is that? Uh, it's a big fat one. Huh. Big fat fly floating around. I might try and kill it between, uh, between rounds. <laughs> Can you catch flies? Can you do that? Can you swipe oh, them out yeah. of the air? Yeah. It's a, a, a moderate skill to have and one that's very impressive, I find. When people, yeah. you're, just, you're just like... Snap. You just, yeah, just grab them. Mm -hmm. it impresses some people. Uh, I've been blown away by it since the Karate Kid. Yeah? The original, yeah. Oh, but with, with the chopsticks. That's, yeah. that's, that, that's, I mean, that sounds harder. Actually, the truth is I can't even use chopsticks to eat, let alone kill stuff with... Right. I don't know, but you grew up in New Brunswick, and I have a. I grew up on a on a cottage, so I mean, right. Plenty of flies. What? Plenty of flies. Plenty of bugs. There we go. Okay, the fairly predictable two bank follow it with a boost. Yeah, why not? Uh, I was to say, or or an arc rotation. No boost. All right. You've flown many more hawks than I have. Uh, I mean, they're amazing. I I'm surprised they didn't get a medium base. Yeah, I don't really know. What the, the lore is about them, I've played one of the video games where uh, Jan and Kyle turn up Jedi Outcast 2, I think it was. I'll believe you. But it uh, seemed like a small ship to me. Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be like Millennium Falcon sized. Hmm, don't think so. Oh, all right. But I don't know. Uh, it may be that uh, it first appeared in a novel, mm. and so it's been like, you know, changed various times. Yeah. Interesting, here we go. So he's just using Gurry to prevent the one... To oh my, brutal. Tough. I mean, Kelvin can still lose his Fen here, just from bad dice. I'm surprised he continued to commit to that lane coming in. Ooh, is that range one? I don't know. I mean, if it is, that's pretty awful for Kelvin. No, no it's range, range two. two. That's better for Kelvin. Yeah, it is. Target lock them both and gets nothing for one. Uh. Well, he's got all day. Yeah, Fen gets the same shot. That's true. But no mods. No damage. No damage. Hit crit. And Kelvin loses his Fen. <laughs> uh, wow. That is the dice variance for you, folks. Ooh. I mean, that was extremely well flown by Kelvin, that particular little jag. Yeah. And just really unfortunate. And he kept the, the focus for defense, right? Yep. No, he did everything right there. Yeah. I think uh, Fen, Cam's fan ended up rolling enough evades that he was able to get through it. Yep. 
I imagine now we'll see more advanced sensor shenanigans as, as Guri tries to get behind uh, Fenrau. Maybe. I mean, like, Palob's not going to be the big damage dealer here. Forty-five minutes. This is um, for a game. I thought that would be very quick. It's dragging very slowly, stretching way out. Well, it's not over till it's over. Ain't that the truth? They're quick with their dials. So we've got an advanced sensors barrel roll, and then uh, a hard one, I imagine. Yep, and he could see a hard one right back in his face. Wow. Staring. Yeah. Let's see. I'm I'm tense with... No. Uh, all right. Well, he wow. called it right. Well, Fen, Cam's Fen is an I-6 ace moving after. He can now boost barrel roll focus. Yep. He's just going to attempt to tank the shot. Well, he gets four dice at range one. I mean, it's four on four. I'd favor the attack dice. As would I. Whoa. And Cam dices out again. Well, he gets a crit, does he not? Nope. A Concord uh, <laughs> Concordia face-off was in effect. No, no damage. damage. I thought Concordia face-off was only... Uh... So it's if they have you in their arc. Oh, I thought, you, I thought it had to be both. Nope. That's for Fearless. Right. All these abilities are way too similar. Are you to you think uh, an ability that had the word face off in it would require you to face your opponent? Yeah. It's, it's true. It originally did, right? But So do you think we're going to see uh, another advanced sensors maneuver from from Guri? She could uh, do a, a bendy barrel roll and a two forward, or three forward might clear murking fan up here so no she doesn't need to uh, one straight one straight okay focus or calculator whatever it is she one does. straight focus and then get a calculator if he uh, focus if he stays in range one yeah which he won't because um, he cannot get back on Guri except at the talon roll which he won't dare here palob is coming in you know what he might do the talon roll because he might not get a damn focus token anyway And if he lines it up right with Predator. I mean, the question is, how fast is Palob going to come, I think? And is he... As is, fast as possible this round. I think he'd like to stay near that rock. So, within range one of it, so he can get his... Uh, Evade? Yep. Is he stopping? Was that a... Oh, yeah, it's a stop. Wild. Interesting. Oh, and he overshoots. He must have something specific in mind. He just calculates. Yeah. He thinks that... Cam is going for it. Cam is going for it, but not as fast. As oh, you're right. Think. He should have done, done the one. Yep. Uh, I guess there was no range there. Well, I have been... This game has been fantastic. Well, there's no complaining here like about uh, having good flying to watch. Kelvin's been flying totally boss here. I mean, these guys came out of the gate, started punching each other in the face real hard, mm -hmm. made a show of it, nice and bloody. Things are dying. This is just great. Yeah. This is some great X-Wing. Watching some top-tier guys. We're getting ready for the system open. Kelvin's ships are all beautifully painted with matching dials. It's just yep. stunning to look at. And here we get to see a, a really interesting form of the game where you've got two guys versus one guy, but the one guy's higher initiative yeah and he's really powerful so you've got to control him. you've got to control him with just your two lower initiative ships right um now palab has to move forward and he has to do a blue maneuver so it's one straight or two straight he could do two straight and then he's done a one and then boost i was going victor victor's just going to double check on the table I feel like the important thing here is that Kelvin does not let Fen get a range one onto Palob. I don't know. I, I, I would agree with you. I mean, what are we doing, Cam? Oh, he's trying again. Hard one. He's trying to break out. 
he make it this time? He yeah, did. yeah. Zimpelob's arc, I imagine we're going to see a reposition at this point. This is going to boost. Is that into Guri's arc? Um, I think so. Well, I guess he thinks he That's can... That's not great, Ken. And Keith, uh, I guess he thinks he can merc Pelob. He's got to kill something else to win the game. I think he's dodged Pelob's arc. That means he yeah. gets to keep his focus. That's good. Range one. Yep. He's got range one on Pelob, which is what yep. he wanted. And he's not modifying that, so that's hit, hit, crit. Oh, oh no, he, he is. is. Yeah. I don't see what Kelvin rolled. I guess we'll see the result. We have a shield lost and a crit. Looks like fuel leak or something. Range one from Gurry. Focus, calculate, target lock. Stunned. Nope. Woo. No shot for Gurry. Cam arc dodge. Now he's stressed and facing a rock. Well, he can hard one out of that. And not clear his stress. Yeah, but he's Fen Rao. <laughs> I imagine he'll do a hard one to come in after Paylob again. He's got now half points on Paylob, killing Paylob. Pushes him over Kelvin. Then he's just got to arch, arc dodge Gurry for half an hour. Mm -hmm. Which he might do. I, I mean, expected at this point that Kelvin would have half damage on Fen. He's had a couple good shots for sure. Yeah, he's had the shots. You can see Kelvin's rocks there labeled with K's. Camps with little labels on them. And uh, we've. Band aids. We, little, yeah, little band aids. And we've been uh, enjoying Cam's beautiful purple templates all all game. They are great. So it like, looks like Palab is. Arc rotation there. Yep. Advanced sensors, barrel roll. From Gurry into a hard one. Yep. Just keeping the area covered. Yeah, I expect Cam yeah. will turn away, two turn, or three straight through that rock. Five forward over the rock? Yeah. Wow, he does try hard, to turn back in. Hard two. Does he make it? Looks like he's going to make it. It's on the rock. Pass through. Looks like uh, Kelvin should have left his arc pointing backwards. He might have a piece of... It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. For... Oop, Fen one takes damage the damage. damage. It's range one. Checking for Guri's ability. Yep. Gets a focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, range one. Range one for the shot. So what's happening? Is Fen shooting a Guri? Yeah, it's going to be... I guess they determined that Fen didn't have arc. Ugh. It hit crit. So we'll see if uh, Cam's magic dice save him here. They do not. So he takes hit crit after Concordia face off. Oh, gets an extra one for range one. Concordia okay, face so off. He just takes the crit. Hit and crit. No, just a crit. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening here. I guess Palop has a shot too. Focus for two. And that's Good it. Game. Cam's down. Wow. Quick what a game. Brutal. What a game. I mean, that was, that was a bit nuts. What had to happen there was Cam's defense dice had to give out. Yeah. Right. And then they finally did after, what was it, three rounds, four rounds? Wow. Yeah. Um, the dice finally went Kelvin's way, and the, ship, the number of ship superiority carried it off. Yeah. But it was close, and that was a nice little round, that second-to-last one for Cam, where he did the one turn and boosted into yeah. range and one of Palo. this is something that's pretty common here in Toronto. The guys are talking out the game, sort of trying to learn from what happened. Mm -hmm. You're seeing them break down the engagement and what happened. Yep. It's always nice to see. Yep. Yeah, it makes everyone's game a little better. Yep. And uh, Kelvin wins 200 to 90.